Americans generate 250 million tons of solid waste per year, more than any other country in the world. 109 million tons of that is packaging. We've estimated that here in the United States, it's $11 billion worth of materials that could be recycled. We are putting into the ground huge amount of resources from aluminum, which is worth $2,000 a ton, to PET, which could be worth four dollars to $500 a ton, paper, all these materials which are extremely valuable. We're only recycling a relatively small portion between 30 and 40 percent. 70 percent of it is ending up in landfills, which is not a very good place to put a lot of our, our wastes. We make about 20 billion PET plastic bottles every year. So it's in our business interest to increase recycling rates, get those bottles back, and, and keep PET plastic in perpetual use, which we can do if we change how we collect material, make that a more efficient process, and also deliver benefits back to consumers because we can make recycling uh, much less expensive than it is today in America. We know that we need a system to close the loop so that the materials that we use can be reused which means that we don't have to go back to the forests and the mines uh, to extract them again. Extended Producer Responsibility, or EPR, champions the free market. It makes good economic sense all around, and good environmental sense. And we need to reuse materials over and over again to save money, to save the economy, to save the planet. So we need to shift those costs in a way that gives industry the opportunity to reduce those costs for themselves, for their consumers, and for society as a whole. This actually could be an interesting public-private partnership. Ratepayers, taxpayers, consumers would actually see a lower burden uh, as some of their uh, taxes or fees are removed for household recycling. They would pay for recycling almost as a user fee on the products that they buy. And because of the private sector efficiencies, we think that that cost would be lower. If producers can directly access the materials that they make, there will be a higher level of incentive for them to optimize their products. So those are the meta frameworks for extended producer responsibility. Extended producer responsibility emerged as the most efficient, lowest cost way to get a high performing recycling system. We know, for example, if you look at Europe, where EPR has been in place in, in many countries for 15 to 20 years, that the recycling rates are very high. We have recycling rates of 70% in Denmark, in Belgium, in Germany, in Japan, and in Canada. And we're asking these companies to step up and take responsibility here in the United States as well. What EPR is, it puts the burden on consumer packaged goods companies, Coca-Cola or uh, uh, Johnson & Johnson baby shampoo, people who design the packaging. So that if you want something that costs less, you make it easier to recycle. Part of what helped us understand that EPR was a viable alternative to solve our problem was the learning that took place when we were originally approached by As You Sow. As You Sow is working with shareholder allies to get big consumer brands to accept responsibility for recycling their packaging. For more information, download our new report, Unfinished Business, The Case for Extended Producer Responsibility for Packaging, at www.asyousow.org.